Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it's really lovely to be back. I feel like I've been away for ages, although I have been putting videos up. Um, yeah, I've been on holiday, so they, they were filmed a long time ago, apart from um, Monday. Yeah, <laughs> I lost my train of thought already. Yeah, Monday I didn't put a video up, it was um, our late Queen Elizabeth uh, II's funeral and um, yeah all our shops were closed here it was a bank holiday and I just felt I'd like to mark the day um, you know by spending it and I did spend it watching the entire thing on the television which was nice and um, yeah just the end of an era a huge era so um, so yeah so I will put one up Wednesday so <laughs> you will still have your same amount of videos um, but I appreciate you were probably looking for one yesterday if you didn't see my message up there um, saying that I wasn't going to. However, let's get on. So I've had a nice holiday. I will, um, over the next few videos, tell you tell you about it and uh, let you know how I'm getting on and things like that. But um, let's get down to business, shall we, for a few things. So um, the first journal that I am going to start, uh, shouldn't take me too long, I hope, because as you know, I've got a, few, got a few now waiting to go, is the September Design Team project for Fiona, who is... Um, well, she's Lavender Blue Journals on Etsy, <laughs> finally getting it right. I think she's Lavender Blue Art on um, Instagram and probably on YouTube. I'll have to check that. But Etsy, which is where you will get the, the kits, um, should you want them, uh, is Lavender Blue Journals. OK, I'll try and remember that. And this kit is Sweet Scents. So I told you I had one more sort of pinkish. So it's uh, it's kind of grungy, like I like, um, but it's pink as well. And, you know, just the very end of summer. So we're, we're heading into to fall or autumn, whatever you call it. But, yeah, still a few pinks around for me. A bit of colour. And, um, yeah, I suppose it could be boho because I've got lace and, and things like that. So, yeah, it, it's... It's one of those kits that I think will suit a lot of people. So it is Sweet Scents, Scents as in S-C-E-N-T, so, you know, perfume. So I, I'm, I need to trim the pages and ink them and things like that, but I thought I'd just start by showing you the kit and the things that I've got with me, like the lace, and then, you know, I'll stop and, and cut it up. Um, I might do a couple of pages with you, but then, then stop and cut it up, because once you've seen a couple uh, being done, the rest is boring, isn't it? So the first one I've done, yeah, just, just checking sizes and things for my um, cover that I want it to go in. Okay, so I've just done one. And what I've done is I've printed it on the um, cream paper. And because they are, as you can see, they're very full on um, beautiful pictures. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to add some space for journaling. So I thought rather than making it a real thick, bulky book and adding lots of... Um, coffee dyed or tea dyed which you know I do a lot I want to try and um, not do it in this one I thought I would I'd do it on the cream paper and then just stencil um, I just was having a go with some colours there on the back of that one so they won't all be that bright um, some of them will just have little bits on here and there but yeah that's what I'm going to do so there will be pages folded some that way some the other so that they're not all you know they're not all the same way um, it's got like a damask uh, kind of can you see it pattern going on in the background there as well of that one so right okay let me show you them <laughs> so there's one yeah so nice and colorful pinks and blues really aren't they with the um then the like the grungy uh, beiges i'm not in camera am i i brought it a bit nearer to me to try and save my back um i had a wonderful holiday i was well i walked miles my back wasn't too bad i came home and started cleaning and <laughs> moving things in the bedroom and what have you and yeah I don't know if it's the bed as well but I'm all aches and pains have been for a couple of days so so I'm minding my back while I uh, while I craft okay so this oh yeah that that's me so there's six of them I've printed them all out small as I do um you know so I can remind myself what's on it and I may use those may cut them up and use them but they're the six pages and um, then there is a page of uh, ATC cards two four six eight eight of those and then there are 
two envelopes in the kit so the um, that's a really big one which will be nice for you know front or back as I like to and then this one which you know is a nicer size for inside and then I printed them as I do two to a page and um, that was on a page on its own no that was on one of them anyway yeah that was on a page on its own I printed them two to a page and this one hasn't come out very much so that's the smaller one anyway it is a little bit smaller um yeah so i've got all those all those to go at as well so those are the pages and the um, elements that come with it and um, my pages so six pages there i've also brought along um some pages from which i, I really like and i thought perhaps went color wise from my you know laura ashley interiors book excuse me i'm hiccuping already that didn't take long did it so they've got the and the light's probably shining on them but they've got like the creams beiges muted pinks i guess just gorgeous I, I would like to have any one of those rooms i do love them so yeah um so i put probably three maybe three pages of that in i don't know and then um perhaps just a couple of um now what did i do with it that was here my sister sent me a book that she got um, just plain it's here somewhere but I can't lay my hands on it I'll find it um, just literally old plain cream paper in a drawing book um, so I'll probably put a couple of pages of that in so this is the fabric cover that I've started so all I've got was a an A4 or well just over A4 um, envelope it was coffee dyed but it needn't have been and I just took some some paper uh, some fabric on it and I did that before I went away and um, just trying to think where I got the fabric from it could be a piece that Tanya sent me actually at Tanya at Tatty Treasure um but it's it's nice linen fabric and I thought on the inside I'm not going to put it right across I'm going to cut it in the middle um but this which is a lovely um page of where is it from oh it's Prima Prima Marketing and it is something that I got in a purchase <laughs> that I will be telling you about later on so um my laces I'm just seeing if there's anything else I brought along with me no that's it my laces so these this one I think this is that lovely vintage one I really love this one um you know that's the natural color of it it's a bit curly whirly but I think in this one will go lovely on these page edges so I'll you know when I stop to do the cover I'll stitch yeah it does doesn't it, it look goes nice I'll stitch some on some of the pages um this is just one I bought for brought for I to get in organized getting in advance which is going to be the front I think that's going to be the front yeah so the flowers are going the right way up yep just over the front of there I'm thinking I'd like some more lace on it but I don't know yet um I've got some appliques and things like that somewhere I'll have to find them out and see if one of those will go and then I've just got two other laces I don't know where or if they're going anywhere uh, just thought the colours went okay so that's all I've got with me what I do want to do is while I remember and I'll do it now while I'm chatting to you is put some oops uh, masking tape down the middle of this just to give it a bit of strength now it is only going to be a one signature journal and it is you know fabric covered so it should have a fair bit of strength when it's got the middle piece in as well but this will just give it a little bit of extra something bit of strength on the spine there and then you know the lace on the outside so that's it but if I don't do it now I won't remember um, I suppose if I want an applique on it and a, a book what do you call those <laughs> a title holder frame I ought to find that out as well before I put it in okay so let's put that to one side then and the lace and um, decide what I'm going to do with these so I'll just do I think I'll just do one with you so I've got a few um, stencils with me I did that last one with the cherry blossom one so I'm going to use good old swirl here now these are one of my purchases, <laughs> one of my bag and finds. I'll, sh I'll just show you with you quick while I was away on holiday. So I've got all these 
used but like new they are so they're all open that one was mine all open that was mine and that was mine was seven yep those three were mine you can see which are mine because i got the oxide and these are the ink so the oxide um changes with water you spray water on it and it does all sorts of wonderful things um the ink blends and things like that it's just it doesn't change with water i don't believe i think that's the difference yeah so um all the colors i wanted look warm lipstick old paper tumbled glass milled lavender black soot i definitely wanted vintage photo i've got some but that's that's fine you can never have too much and cracked pistachio and they were in a box with in a charity shop um quite a few embossing powders and quite a few embossing inks um and other other inks that weren't in halts um yeah i threw the inks away because i didn't like the smell of them to be honest with you um 10 pound so seven of these and they're all i've tried them all out they're all because i thought you know even if i just have to buy ink re-inkers for some of them but no nope, they're all like new so wow that wasn't that a bargain i was well pleased yeah so back to this <laughs> so we don't want black soot on it we don't want blue i've had the no i don't think i had that green no i didn't um yeah vintage photo lavender. so i had the old paper and the warm lipstick on that other one i haven't actually looked at the vintage photo to be honest let's let's have a go with it because mine are little tiny uh tiny squares it seems to be loading the brush right i don't want it real deep oops yeah lots plenty see how thick that's come on yeah i don't want the stencil to be strong wow or oh, too uniform really i want some cream showing i went a bit wild on that one didn't i yeah and that is all i want really inked around the page yeah leave leave it alone denise yeah by the time that's trimmed down because i haven't need to trim them yet by the time it's trimmed down like this one and inked round to give it a bit of a border that's going to be really nice so that's all i'm going to do to them so i've got five more haven't i one two three four four more because it's the six of them and uh yeah so i'll do that and trim them down and then i will be back okay so i've done that um i cut the three pages up as well for the um laura ashley book and just popped them in so i did two, two lengthwise and one um widthways you'll see in a minute you know on its side so obviously they'll have you know embellishments and maybe pockets things like that on them in places oh this is the book um that i said my sister uh, found me isn't that gorgeous look at the oh where's the middle the rusty look at those rusty um staples in the middle of it yeah so i've just put um a couple of pages of it in here just for some again it will be decorated and there's going to be lace on some of these um but yeah just to give it some more you know antique vintage papers yep so i've done that one just with some pink stenciling that one just with some i can't remember which color it was perhaps the old paper another one from that book the laura ashley book again uh, i think i used the pink and the brown uh, the pink and the paper on that one so i left two pages together for some you know lusciousness i like that that one's got a um a label on it as well so you could actually do a little bit of writing on there and you know i may well put something else on it yeah cute again some i think that was my green um and some of the whatever was left on the brush i think <laughs> on there yeah that could have been i can't remember don't know what colors i use now anyway okay so that's it i think there's 10 the 10 or 11 might be 11 there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's 11 and then i also brought along a one of these beautiful avocado dyed uh, doilies from my stash and one of these cards if you remember i got a few of these from the charity shop um they're really only paper thin so they're good for journaling on and i just again i don't know if you can see that or not i um 
I stenciled with what was left on the brushes, <laughs> all of them just on it so it would you know it was just white pink on the outside but just white on the inside so now it's got that vintage in. I was thinking about folding this over um, I did have a little look what do I want in the middle those maybe so that it covered that a little bit so it's it's not too in your face that picture when you turn the page and then in the middle I was thinking I don't know I might move it around you know me so yeah there is a little image there but it's not too full in your face when you when you open it so that should be my 13 pages so that's more than enough isn't it so I need to um yeah stitch some some lovely lace on the edges so that that will be my next job you will see that in a second okay so um I've stitched a bit on not too much um just on a few pages because I will be putting some page edge decorations on when I decorate um, yeah I think I probably did four maybe four page edges and a couple of pieces of lace I thought I had a page edge of lace at the back there and I put one back in the wrong place this one I've done one at the back yeah, I don't think that was there, was it? Oh, maybe it was. Oh, it was. Ooh, I don't know then. Yeah, I might. I may well add one more here <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, it needs one more. Um, I'll do that before we stitch it in. Ooh. Good job, I've got some left. And then, um, yeah, I've had a look for the applique for the front. So that's going to be this. Oops, got threads hanging on it yeah that way I think but it kind of it gets lost a little bit in there doesn't it I'm not going to stitch it on I'm going to glue it on by the way and then um, I came across this which is another piece that I got while I was away um, in a grab bag which I will show you at some point but just beautiful that you probably can't see how beautiful it is actually but it's a perfect square I don't know if it's come off an item of clothing or what but it's beautiful so I was thinking, and it won't it won't do the whole thing. I've just had a little go at it, but I was thinking it'll do all the front like that with this applique across it, because we can still see this lovely flower here. It's it's layering up, isn't it? And I've still got a, a space here for my, so I want to put one of those on this one, on that, and then it will it will just make a nice sort of. Yeah, half cover the back might put something on here I don't know I see what it's like because obviously when it's when the signature's sewn in it will have this over as well so that will be a double layer of of lace don't know which is the right way that way I think yes yeah, so it'll have a double layer there so yeah I might put some more layers under it I don't know I have to have a think about that one but it needs it needs stitching on uh, when I stitch this on doesn't it I also came across this in my um, no it's from an old relative's uh, jewellery um, I thought it might make a nice closure I'll have to somehow bend the back yeah so I was thinking put it through and bend the back over at the front and then I can have something that goes round we'll see um, anyway that's an idea <laughs> so what's the next thing that I need to do so I need to get the this finished so that we can sew the signature in um, well I'm hoping to sew the signature in overnight so that tomorrow's video we will be um, making some ephemera to put in it so yeah that needs cutting down exactly down the middle um, and then I will put a piece of fabric over the the middle as well um, I don't think I'll be able to get my big board out um, just bear with me a minute. Well, it's on the table. <laughs> I don't know how much of it you can see, probably not much. Um, let's just measure the height that I want. So about just inside there and just in, so 22. Yeah, I'm thinking 22, that's got a stiff bit of glue there. That's my machine's not going to like going through that. That would be 
wouldn't surprise me if I don't break a needle. So we're going for 22. I might just go 22 and a, a little smidge in case it cuts off. So half a half a quarter. Yeah, half a quarter of a centimeter, <laughs> an eighth of a centimeter more than 22. I love that little piece there. That's going to have to go in the front, I think, isn't it? That label. So, yeah, perfect. So what do you measure? It should be 12 inches, but what are you in centimetres? 30 and a touch. So 15 is there. And half a touch. <laughs> we'll do it on the top because we know that's definitely straight. It was done by a machine in the factory, so it must be. Is that right? 15 and a touch? That's what we're saying. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, right. Excuse me a moment while I just oh pop it on the floor. Gosh. Okay. If it does need cutting down, I've got my little no it doesn't. Yes, I'm thinking. Oops, upside down. Did you spot that? <laughs> Oh, is it? I don't know. No, it's right way up. Well, that writing's upside down. That one's upside down and that one's the right way up. So it's one of those. Yeah, same on there. So I could have them both that way. No, I prefer it that way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it will be stitched in, but I'm going to just catch it in with a, a bit of glue to hold it still while uh, yeah while I get the fabric down the middle not that I've brought any fabric with me um, hmm, should have done that shouldn't I yep so it, this is collal so it sticks to fabric um, I don't particularly need the middle glued down but we will I want it as close to this edge as possible I think yeah, first one's easy. Need a cloth. It's the second one getting it level with, but of course the book, you know, the, the journal in the middle separates it to some degree so you can get away with a little bit of not quite straight, but yeah, it's going to be quite a way away from it as well, isn't it? So yeah, I don't perhaps you know when I'm folding the paper over the um the fabric over the envelope it's possible to, to do that not straight as well so so yeah this is lovely paper isn't it so what I did was the day I'm sure I told you on video the day that went on holiday we called at um, a colleague of Neil someone who works his house who's a, a crafter and she said well she tries to craft but she works full time like Neil so you can imagine <laughs> that she doesn't have a lot of time um, yeah she had a uh, a die cut machine that she was willing to sell to me should I wish to have it um, and it's an electric one it's a Gemini one so there's no hard cranking of the <laughs> of the uh, handle not that I, I don't think it's that hard anyway on the, the handheld ones is it but yeah this one does it all for you so yeah I know that's not stuck down really well but it's stuck down enough for me to stitch around it just wondering I've got this that I cut the applique out of no it's not big enough I need some fabric for down there um, so yeah, so I've cut it, I bought it. I've got a Gemini um, die cutting machine. I just want some dies now. But she also had lots of other stuff that she gave me in with it. Um, I will share it with you because there's loads. It's a big haul. But yeah, she had some lovely, some lovely scrapbooking paper that she, she gave me too. So yeah, really, really pleased. And you'll see more of it as we, as we go on. Loads of um, Tim Holtz bits and pieces. Yeah, I will share them with you just not today while I get back into the swing of things. Okay, so we need we just need some fabric on there and then it can be stitched. Okay, so I found some material and I stuck it down um, just because I need it to, to dry so that I can go around, my, around it in my sewing machine. I, um, I wasn't sure about the white showing uh, through there, so I don't even know if you can tell at the moment, but I very carefully just did a bit of stencil up the middle um, of that. So that needs to dry, dry now before I can uh, I suppose um, 
know what I've done? I didn't put my ah, I didn't put this on, did I? It's gonna have to show now, I'm gonna have to have it showing through, but I'll probably have a pocket on there anyway, so that's okay. No problem. So yeah, maybe I can just put a glue piece of glue in each corner, I'm thinking, and just put some little flips on it, or any clips. We'll just hold it a little bit straight while I, you know, stitch it. I don't want a lot, a lot. perhaps not in the corner because I might put, um, yeah, what are they called? Corners. <laughs> I might put some corners on them. Can I grab so, But I want it kind of, oh yeah, it's, it's the full size and it's all the way up. Yes when it's not wrinkly. So this is my Fabri-Tac mixed with Palau just to loosen it up a little bit. So, you know, both, both are good for fabric, I believe. Yeah, just keeping it in place while it gets stitched. Now, you know, if something awful happens and it turns back on itself and it gets stitched in, you know, well, that's that. I won't, I won't worry too much about it. These things happen, so don't you either. <laughs> if these things happen, embrace them. Um, they give, they give you pieces character. That's. I'm not just saying it. I promise, <laughs> they do. I was going to make a joke, but I shouldn't because I'm. I am quite serious about. Yeah, you, you should love what you create. Imperfections, imperfections as well. Perfection is not. I mean, it's nice perfection has its place but it's not a necessity in this um, craft and often you get lovely results from your imperfection so so yeah don't mean so hard on yourself and love what you do those of you that I know I get a few comments saying oh, I wish I could well you can trust me well you can as well as me <laughs> Let's put it like that. Perfectionist, I am not. It's funny how you always like other people's stuff, but not your own. You have to, I think you have to work at loving, loving your own stuff, having the confidence. We're told not to be so, or we're taught, or we grow up learning to be, you know, a bit. What's the word I'm looking for? Mm, you know, down on yourself, on your own abilities, sometimes. I don't know, I don't know that we're taught to, because I don't think my parents taught me to do that. You just kind of grow up in this world being a bit like that, don't you? And we shouldn't, especially with stuff like this, it's fun. Oh, we're getting heavy, Denise. We're getting heavy. Let's stop. <laughs> just enjoy what you do. Oops. Isn't that lovely? I love it. It's a good job I didn't want to sew the applique on, isn't it? Because I've oh I haven't done that. I haven't stitched but I've glued. Yeah, I'll have to let that dry before I can stitch now, but I will I will just come on at the end of the video and uh, and show you it's stitched on. How annoying. I do that all the time. All the time. So eager to be. Mm, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. And uh, that. Okay, I'll just give it a few minutes to glue, uh, to to dry, and then I'll stitch it, and, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, then there we go. I've moved the moved the camera again, so um, yeah, I may not may not be in view now. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for today. I, uh, I glued it down and I stitched around it. And yet, yeah, remember what I said about the little imperfections? Look, the, t the corner turned up. I didn't glue it down properly. And that's fine. I love things like that. So yeah, I need to put that little green thing in there. And the, um, this on here. Where's the other thing gone? It's here somewhere. Throw it out of the way. 
no, a little nameplate on there. Um, and then because the nameplate will come through and so will this on here. Yeah, I might have a nice corner pocket or something. Um, sorry, you probably couldn't see. Yeah, I'll have a nice corner pocket there covering those up. So I'm hoping to sew that in before tomorrow, before tomorrow's video, and put those things on it, and then we can start creating some ephemera, um, with the ephemera that comes with it, and creating some more, and, and filling it. Okay, so thank you so much for being with me through that. It was a bit of a hodgepodge of a, <laughs> of a video, but that's what it's like when you're putting signatures together and, uh, and stitching. Oh yeah, I needed to put another one in there as well, didn't I? Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have more fun playing with the, the pretty pieces. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can. Um, pop back and see me tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.